Hey everybody, this is FireGuy522 here with my, what is this, my 16th tutorial. And sorry, I haven't made any in a while. Alright, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to add like a change levels so that your map can change to a different one. Kind of like how the Half-Life 2 maps you, I'm actually going to use an old example of Half-Life 2, the original one, when you have to go through the tunnels on the coast maps. As you're going like halfway through the tunnels, it changes the level. I'm going to show you how to do that. Alright, so in Steam, let's go to our Tools tab, Source SDK, once that's loaded up. Click on whatever game, whatever, I'm going to use Episode 2. Uh, whenever you have your game, hit Open Up Hammer Editor. Oh, damn. And once you have Hammer Editor open, go ahead and open your level. I kind of did that because I forgot to have it open before you guys. But anyways, once you have your level, uh, I'm just doing this little sample one. That's why it's not like finished in any way. Alright, here's my tunnel. Kind of like steams or valves or whatever. Whatever you prefer. Anyways, so player spawns here, I'm gonna make a jalopy here, he's gonna drive around all these debris and shit, looking at the environment, look for combine, and when he gets into this tunnel, we want it to change to a newer level. So let's go ahead and get our brush creation tool, let's trigger, we find our trigger texture. Alright, and because I have this tunnel built specifically, and we want it to be about halfway in. And then I'm just going to fill it up to the top, that way there's no way they can get around it. Alright, let me tunnel back in. Alright, so. Here's our node or our trigger texture. I'm just gonna put it the rest of the way. All right, so here's our trigger. Now, pretty much, we want it to where when we drive into this or walk into it, it's gonna change level. So we're gonna hit Control T. All right, and then we're gonna change the class to a trigger change level. Okay, so pretty much. I'll tell you some of these. Okay, start disabled means like you have to fire an input to start it, otherwise if you walk into it nothing's gonna happen. Name, I'm not gonna name this one because I'm not gonna do anything, but actually, sure I'll name it. Two. Excuse the keyboard, I'm on a 1999 keyboard and it sucks ass. Alright, so the new, oh, wait, alright, new map name, we're going to name it level 2, and landmark, these are for changing, like, entities that you want to keep, like the jalopy, alright, and so, pretty much, you could change it to where it would go back to the, or, my bad, sorry, I'm getting a little off topic, in the flags tab, you can change it to where when you touch it, nothing's going to happen. Or if you have it to where, like on Half-Life 2, some of the ways you can go backwards and it'll take you back to the previous map. That would be what this flag would be for. And so that's pretty much how a change level works. Now, another thing that you might want to understand is if you're having, I don't know, like a shooting range, somebody suggested this. If they're having like a shooting range, then you hit a button, then it will change the level. Also, sorry about the little screen glitch there. So, let's, I'm just going to go ahead and make a button real quick. Whether or not it's realistic, I don't care, to be honest. Alright, that's a big ass button. Funk button. Okay, don't want it to move. And we'll say. That 
should be the same. So if the name is trigger the level change. All right, and then we'll make a point enemy for. I'm gonna point client command. Oh wait, I guess a server command would be more reliable. Point server command. Then we put on. We go to our button on the outputs. Press add on pressed. Output unpressed, level change, command, and we just do, if we want to do it to a map change, we do map, and then we do like whatever the map name is. In this case would be level 2. And so, if, if the client, or if the server command doesn't work, try the client command. I'm not going to be completely sure. And if you're going to make this for Gary's mod, I don't think it works. So pretty much what happens is if we press this button, a command is going to go to our little our little entity right here. It's going to send it to the server, and it's going to tell it to change level. That's if it's running a server. I don't know if you'd have a Half-Life 2 Episode 2 map on a server, but you know, whatever. It might be synergy. <clears throat> Alright. That's all I can really think of for this tutorial. And sorry if I've been kind of real on and off about what I'm doing, because it's been a while since I've made this. Anyways, this has been FireGraph 522, showing you guys how to change levels. My 16th tutorial, hammer editor tutorial. Have fun, don't burn yourselves.